Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and today I'm getting vaccinated. I wanted to have a little fun with it because it is a hot topic. Trust me, do what you wanna do with your own body. This is what I'm choosing to do with mine and there's no political agenda here. I'm not trying to influence anyone to do anything they don't feel comfortable doing. Um, for me, the decision that Curtis and I made is absolutely we will be getting our vaccines. Curtis is already fully vaccinated and today I'm going to get my Moderna shot, my first one, and I actually have to leave in like five minutes. So, and actually I'm going to our small town pharmacy to get it done. I don't even have to drive to town to get it. So easy for me. Um, my honest feelings about it all are, I just want this shit to be over. Like, <laughs> and if this is the step that I need to take to help us get there, I'm doing it. I'd like anything I can do to help. Okay. That is me at your dinner party. That is also me in general in life. Anything I can do to help. I got you. Let me do this for you. I'll roll up my sleeve for you. I'll do a little dance for you. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying hard to not be naive about all of this. Um, I am going into it knowing I might be sick today. I might feel like garbage today. I might, let's not even talk about that. I know there are risks. I know there are risks. Um, Curtis wanted me to make sure that I 100% didn't get the AstroZeneca or something. Astro, I was thinking like Astro Pop. Is that like some kind of popsicle? I think it is. I think it's something I used to eat. Anyways, um, he made sure that there was a couple that he were like, um, you can get these ones, you can't get this one. I honestly, I've been staying out of the news as much as I possibly can because it's not good for me. It's really not. So I am trying to just stay light and positive and hopefully the side effects don't bother me. And if they do, hopefully they're mild. I just feel like <sighs> I gotta do it. Like I just, I'm, I'm pushing my, like I have anxiety. So of course I'm like, well, what if? <laughs> but I am choosing to just do it anyways. Do it nervous, it's fine. And um, I'm just gonna trust God. And I feel like this is, yeah. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> Please don't start political debates. I We don't need that. We just need more love, okay? So no one be angry with me for getting it and no one be angry with anyone else for not getting it. Um, let's just love each other, okay? And if you wanna stick something in you, stick something in you. <laughs> you can read that however you want. <laughs> I am on time for my appointment and the high school is actually out on their lunch hour right now. So there are teenagers everywhere. <laughs> the store is gonna be filled with teenagers, but I'm gonna be cool, okay? I don't know if I'm gonna be allowed to film in there or not. Um, I actually don't even know if I'm going like to a different room or if they're just doing it in the store. <laughs> Sounds inappropriate. All right, I don't wanna be late. So let's go in there. Teenagers everywhere. <laughs> that was literally the least painful thing I've ever done. Honestly, I asked her, I was like, is it okay if I film? And she was like, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I was like, I just won't put your face in it. She was really sweet. Um, anyways, 
it was fine. Like I had, I not literally been watching it go in my arm on the movie, on the movie, <laughs> on my phone, I wouldn't have even known that she actually did it. But now as I'm sitting here, as soon as I got into the Jeep, which hold on, I got to turn on the AC. I'm about to die. <sighs> okay. That's better. <laughs> Um, it's starting to like sting just a little bit in my arm. Like I can kind of feel, it actually almost feels like peroxide, you know, like when you were a kid, I don't actually think people recommend to use peroxide anymore. Um, at least when I did my first aid training, they just said soap and water, soap and water, no peroxide. But anyways, back in the nineties, we didn't know anything. So I would, every cut that I had was like dosed in peroxide. That's what it feels like right now. Just like a little bit. Oh no. Um, Curtis is texting me that Jasper's a disgusting train wreck mess and he needs a bath. So <laughs> I think I might go to the store. <laughs> Curtis has never had to deal with that dog and his mess on his own before. I just feel like it's a good opportunity for him to learn and grow as a man and a father. You know what I mean? I just, I feel like maybe this was meant to be like God wanted me to be sitting here in my Jeep hiding from my house and its issues right now. You know, maybe that's it. Oh my heck. I texted him to find out what it was. He rolled in poop. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, I've had to deal with that alone before too, okay? In multiple times. He rolled in a ton of manure smelling animal feces. That's the way Curtis worded it. And also, Curtis is trying not to deal with this right now. He's trying to make an appointment at the groomers. <laughs> so that's how he handles situations and situations by just passing the buck, let making somebody else take care of your mess. I'm going to go home and help him because <laughs> obviously he's up shit Creek without a paddle. If you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> also another note, my arm's getting hot. Just, just like a little hot in the area where it got poked. But like, honestly, I don't think you can tell. I don't think you can tell where the poke happened. Can you? I can't see it. All I see is a little bit of arm chub and a lot of beautiful freckles, honey. Okay. Mermaid got her shot. She's feeling pretty good. Now she's gonna deal with shit down in the neighborhood. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why do the kids think I'm cringy? Okay, this is totally normal. <laughs> All right, let me go deal with this mess. Say that again. I said as I washed him, I tried to explain to Miranda that I washed him well, <laughs> but there's still a bit of a scent of poo. <laughs> um, what did you say? I said... As I washed him, turds fell out of his hair. Like he had, <laughs> he had turds in his ear. No. Turds all around Stop his neck. Stop saying turds. And turds out of his back. <laughs> and it was all mooshed into his hair. Like I gave him a good bath, but he's still got a little scent. Mm. So he's outside just uh, letting Being it wear Being depressed. Off. He's letting it wear off. <laughs> Get him an appointment. <laughs> he's going to the groomer. <laughs> My poor baby, you guys. Dying off in the sun. He's warming Aww, up because of the cold water. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I think he should feel so bad. Aww, Jesse, you didn't know better. Did you have a rough day? A very cold bath with the hose? You used the hose? What did you expect me oh, to do? Oh, You Curtis. wanted him in the house like that? I always bath him in the bathtub. Oh, well, he got a nice cold bath today. <laughs> I'm sad. There were turds falling out of his hair. You want that in your bathtub? There's no right answer. <laughs> I'm just sad. <laughs> Yucky. Why was I home today? Why do you bad things happen to good people? <laughs> and to good, bad dogs. I love you, hey. Jess. Are you getting dried off in the sun? You'll be all right. Let's go take him in the house and bath him. He's already had a bath. No, but let's bath him nice. There's no nice bath. In this bath. I think, yeah, let's do that. Mommy wants to. He actually smells good. Yeah, he, smells he like, just smells like wet dog. Maybe we're good. I think you're traumatized. I am traumatized. I didn't expect the PTSD to come from this. <laughs> this is worse than I mean, I know you're I've probably going to get it. I just don't think dog poop is the reason. Anything I've seen <laughs> on the ambulance, this is worse. You've seen feet hanging off bodies. Well, that's probably too much information, but yes, you have. <laughs> Legs like caramel bars. <laughs> Squished. <laughs> and dog shit takes you out. Yep. Sorry, babe. <laughs> Baby poop did it, too. Jassy, mommy's going to wash you nice. No, he's okay? Wa he's good. He's good. He's able to.
I'm gonna see if I can get him a groomer's apartment. Uh, oh, my poor baby, you guys. My poor baby. I think somebody's gonna get a cookie today. What do you think, Boober? Should we get him a cookie? Yeah. Yeah. Arm update. Feel like I punched somebody. No one deserves it, really. But I feel like I punched somebody. But otherwise, pretty good. A little stingy, a little hot, but nothing that's like get an Advil, you know? Feel pretty good. It didn't even hurt. Everything I'm wearing needs washed. <laughs> Go have a shower. I will wash him. I'm going to put my hair back and get her going. And guess what? We were already talking about going for an I-C-E-C-R-E-A-M. I don't want to say it out loud because we're not planning on bringing the kids. That's right there. But we're planning on doing that after school with the kids, right? Our okay. kids after I'm done work. Now we've earned it. We? <laughs> How many times have I dealt with dog shit and you never do? I don't know that I've ever. Our dog's never been that dirty. Never. I've had a dog for 12 years now. Never! Never! <laughs> Go shower. That's okay, huh? How's it going in here? He's all right. He's getting a second bath. Yeah. This water's a little bit warmer for him, so he doesn't freeze to death. Well, I think it's 24 degrees outside, so I think I know, he'll, he'll he's survive. He's a classy dog. You can't wash a classy dog. He's a classy a dog. You should have yes. seen him rolling in that. <laughs> True. <laughs> Good job, class. Class act. Let's just call him classy. He's no longer jazzy. He's classy. <laughs> hey, ja hey, classy. Oh, that's such a good classy dog. Are you hiding from me? <laughs> I was brushing his hair, and I think he's had enough. He shook around and then went and sat over there, and he's doing his little whine where it sounds like this. <clears throat> That's how he soaks for Winnie's breakfast every morning. <laughs> it's like, we know you're there. We see you. <gasps> oh. So we gave him that extra bath, or I gave him that extra bath. He, I just felt bad for him. I know it's probably like, oh, dogs are fine with a hose, but that's cold. He's, he's a baby. Anyways, he smells fine. He just smells like wet dog now. So I made Curtis go have a shower. I think he probably like still can smell the poop in his nostrils somehow so he's still kind of stressed but anyways we made an appointment for him to go to the groomer but that's not till next week so um he's clean enough though but he really does need a haircut because it's just too hot for our boy he's got a lot of hair i'm back down in my room i'm about to put my laundry away and also i need to put away the bags <laughs> that are still filled with clean clothes from the weekend. So I'm going to do that. I did all of Winnie's laundry this morning. So that is completely done. Um, I, anybody else have a bad habit of not putting things away and just like setting it, set it and forget it. You know, I do that all the time because I don't always wash like a pair of jeans. I'll wear a pair of jeans two or three times because normally if I'm wearing jeans, it's like for something. And as soon as I'm home from whatever that was, like where I want it to look nice, <laughs> then I don't wash them right away because they don't need wash. So normally if I like wear something one time or just for a little bit, I hang it up. And actually, I never wore that dress, so I don't know why that's there. Anyways, my arm's feeling fine. I'm feeling like I'm feeling actually a little bit better, like the burning kind of went away. Um, but I'm still looking forward to that ice cream. <laughs> Not going to forget about that. Actually, it's a new ice cream store. It only opened last year. Um, and I don't, we didn't go to it once. I don't know why. I think just, was it really COVID-y last summer? I don't know. We just weren't home. Every time we went for ice cream, it was on the island. <laughs> So we were eating cows, cows ice cream, that is not, well, actually, we probably did eat cows too, because that's when we stopped being vegetarian, so. <laughs> well, it might look like I didn't put my laundry away, but I did, and I also cleaned out my closet at the same time. I just put, like, all the wintry stuff away, or stuff that doesn't fit me right now, because I need more space in my closet, guys. 
I actually do need some more shirts. Well, I don't need some more shirts. Trust me, I could, you could live in one shirt for a long time, but I would like to have a few more options of summer clothes, especially some caprice. I need, I am in desperate need of those. <laughs> I really, I sweat so much, you guys, like it's inappropriate to say the amount that I sweat, but you know what? Let me just say this as well. I am embarrassed and I've been embarrassed basically as long as I can remember because I have always thought that when you're hearing the monitor, I'm sorry, <laughs> I have always thought that the reason I am sweaty is because I'm fat and because I am too big, therefore sweating is like a punishment because I am too big. And if I were to lose weight, then I wouldn't sweat as much as I do. I'm calling bullshit on myself. I'm calling bullshit on myself because skinny people sweat too. <laughs> I don't know why I, I literally sometimes will say, oh, I'm not hot. <laughs> no, it's good. I'm not hot. Like, yeah, you don't need to turn up the AC. Like I know you're cold. I'm, I'm pretty cold too, actually. Meanwhile, sweating to death because I just don't want to like make people think, oh, she's hot because she's fat. So yeah. <laughs> but like, why? <laughs> I'm hot. I get sweaty and it doesn't matter if I'm freaking way over 200 pounds or way under 200 pounds. I'm going to sweat. Okay. Okay. I got off on that tangent because I was talking about sweat, but the real reason I want more summer clothes is because I don't want to wear sweaty clothes. So when I get sweaty, I like to change. I like to freshen up, maybe hop in the shower for a few minutes cool myself down and then change like and I feel like as a 35 almost beautiful 36 year old woman <laughs> just snuck that little beautiful word in there because I need to love me um I should be able to have a shower in the middle of the damn day and change my clothes and be okay with that it's hot out there okay <laughs> I am just so glad that I'm learning these things now and that I don't need to believe everything that I've always believed because some things are stupid <laughs> and some things I've learned from the diet culture we live in and I've just accepted it as truth, even if it's complete garbage. Like, and if you sweat, it's okay, honey. Don't be embarrassed. If you're hot, it's okay. Uh, I don't know if all bigger men and women do this. I don't know if it's just an exclusive to me kind of thing. But like like I've said before, up here, it's like a, it's a beautiful maze of uh, destruction and hate. And I'm trying to cover over it and like rebuild from the ground up a flower bed of tulips with oh, I just got goosebumps. Yes, I did. Can you tell? I just got goosebumps thinking about, look, oh, you can tell, totally just got goosebumps of my own thoughts because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And if anyone wants to tear me down, if anyone wants to tell me I am not fearfully and wonderfully made, then they can just leave because I know my truth. So I need to stop believing other people's truths because what might be true to them isn't true for me. You know, we all have to decide what we will believe. <laughs> and as for me and my house, <laughs> we will believe in self-love and also Jesus. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> oh yes. I am excited to try this one. Addie and Boober are gone for the day. Just had a nice chat with Shelby, their mom. That smells pretty good, not gonna lie. It doesn't smell as peachy as I would like it to, but it smells good. Ooh. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. You guys know, if you've been here with me for a while, you know I love my fuzzy peach popsicles. This tastes like a melted, fuzzy peach popsicle. I might have to say it. Drink of the summer. I think. Drink of the summer, I think. 
I think I like this better than the Smirnoff Triple Berry. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Someone's over there silently judging me. <laughs> but he's working on homework, so judge away. As long as you're doing homework. Get it done. <laughs> Am I killing you right now? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> well, what could that be? <gasps> I am tired. I don't think it's the vaccine. I think it's just me. I'm tired. I'm drinking and I don't want to cook. So instead of Friday, it's pizza Thursday because then I was like, if we get pizza now, then you guys can take it in your lunch for school tomorrow. Yes. So I got three pizzas and two garlic fingers. <laughs> Skylar's eating one. I was like, oh, let me take a clip first. And he's like, no, I have to. It's tradition. <laughs> There's got to be a hole. Well, it has to. <laughs> Since the start, there's always been a hole. Cooper! Pizza Thursday! All right, we got three 12 inch pizzas and two 12 inch garlic fingers. We got bacon, hamburger, pepperoni. This is the barnyard, the barbecue chicken and bacon. Um, of course, we had to get a cheese pizza for the queen. We got some bacon bits, garlic fingers, and some plain garlic fingers for the queen. All right. We got the Jays game on. The Leafs game is on tonight. <sighs> we're going to take the series. We're going to go to bed early. No, we're not. <laughs> I am. I know I said we were going to go for ice cream today. I'm not sure if we are or not. We're going for pizza. I think we should do pizza today, ice cream tomorrow. Winnie's the only one who would be upset by us not getting ice cream, and we didn't tell her. So I think we're going to do the ice cream tomorrow. We got ice cream here. Let's just do ice cream tomorrow because I just want to keep drinking and eating. <laughs> I don't want to have to go anywhere. Okay, let's eat. Here's the queen. You ready for some pizza Thursday, mama? Oh, yeah. That whole garlic finger has no bacon on it. I know. Normally we get like half bacon, half without. But this time we got all bacon on this one and all this cheese on this mine. one. Yeah. I like the doner sauce. Curtis likes the pizza sauce. Because sometimes Daddy says, oh, do you want to have pizza and you have garlic fingers? You can just dip the pizza sauce in the, in the garlic fingers. Yes. It's time for another little beverageino. We're going to try this blue lobster pink limonade. Give it a go. It smells like pink lemonade. Woo! Woo! Holy! That's sour. Ooh, tart. It's good, but it, this will not be the drink of the summer. I will drink this, but it's a little too sweet for me. Hooey! I wonder if I'm going to make a noise every time I drink. That's probably true. Okay, what do you want me to see? Oh, she wants to show you guys her little Spider-Man motif. <laughs> Don't worry, there's shorts under that skirt. It's a skirt. Good job, Spider-Man. Vladi was probably the least. Why do you call him Vladi? Man, Vladi has Vladi. gone Mom's so vlogging. far. Vladi. <laughs> Vladi. Mom's vlogging. I was just vlogging Jazz. What happened over the last week or so? Delish. <laughs> Get him, Jazz. All right, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. Pizza was delicious. Pizza Thursday was an excellent idea. Um, and now 
I don't have to worry about what I'm going to put in Wendy's lunch tomorrow. Excellent. There's leftovers for everyone. I'm grateful. Um, I'm going to go to bed very soon. So I want to wrap this up so I can go wrap up my business side to YouTube and get that all dealt with so that I can go to bed and relax and put my feet up. And I'm grateful that I feel great. I really do. No side effects. The only thing that's going on is my arm hurts a little bit. And Winnie like punched it a couple times while we were playing. And um, every time I was like, because <laughs> it, it hurts. It hurts like, especially like my arm is sore a little bit, but if you touch the exact Actually, she did more than touch. Like, actually, she was punching me to try to get my attention. Anyways, it's fine. I love you guys so much. I hope that you had a really good day. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Love you. Bye.